three nights in a row. I'm worried about Bruce. Three nights straight. He might break his neck. And he I practices his lines. For an entire Broncos versus Raiders football game. But can you wake up and do it again the next morning and then do it again the and next be, morning? And be That's into it. 60 minutes. You're, you're at a game going, yeah, guys. Good, good, yo, man, I'm excited. Ain't no. nobody listening. You're not at a game like Bruce Buffer. Oh, yeah. I what? Am. We're sitting at a football game and you were going, yeah, yeah. He Delusion. does not fucking scream like that the whole time. What? Three now introducing the straw weight. She weighed in at this much, this many pounds. I reckon this much she represents this gym. He's not screaming during that. And then he and goes. And that's what you're counting. And no! No, I can't. I can't take it. I can't take it. Why you got a microphone? We don't need to do all that. Hey, man. Bruce Buffer introduced me to a few of my friends. Hey, I, and I can't wait. Away. <laughs> Every once in a while when he yelled my name, I started thinking, I don't know if I'm that ready. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't know if I'm as ready as he's yelling right, right now. It's not for everybody. I'm just kidding, Bruce. Don't fuck my last name up. We you love you, it. Bruce. Don't say my last name wrong, Bruce. <laughs> it's good times. Baby, was I getting a two, right? Well, we're going to line up. Maybe she can line the front now. It's all totally up to you, but there's a two everywhere on her. Cool. You clean them, like. Like, Real clean. She came out the military. <laughs> Put a two out the military. Right, right, right. My hair was a huge inconvenience for me. Just always having to stop in between around and like, oh, hold on, let me fix my hair. It's just like also like a good way for me to shed the past. And it's not just physically like an inconvenience. Like also psychologically, I've just always been mean to my hair in terms of like just not feeling comfortable in my own skin. I think a lot of times too, like female fighters maybe feel like they gotta have the pressure to be pretty and like badass at the same time too. And I think the fighting is the most important part. Everybody has their definition of beautiful. You know, to me it's also what's on the inside as well. So the, it's the whole package. How's your weight? Good. Weight kept going good. Feel good. I'm just trying to get a little sweat in. It's an easy way to sweat. People are always like, are you cutting weight out, you know, this far out? But it's more just getting your body used to letting go of a bunch of fluids and not being a big deal. <laughs> it's always nice to have some companions, you know, hanging out, BS and whatever. So we usually have three or four guys in here. It's nice to, you know, misery loves company, as they say. <laughs> Remember when you got like a full-on fight with a little Brazilian Muay Thai kid? And he hadn't quite hit puberty yet, but he's tough and he's 14. And so he is not going to lose to a girl and Paige not going to get beat up by anybody. So next thing you know, I look over and she was on top of him like beating the crap out of him. I'm like, damn, these guys are going nuts, like dropping knees on each other and everything. On my first day. Ever, like the first day training. Yeah, you got a full on fist fight. <laughs> I feel like I had to prove I was like belonged. I think he just pissed you off. I think that, that too. It's fun, it's a nice, relaxing way to get a good sweating. before the storm, you know? Nice to get out here, real peaceful. Yeah. Just go somewhere where I can get away from it. That's yeah. good. Been thinking about it too much. Sometimes, you know, it gets really stressful and stuff, and uh, you just gotta remember that, just relax and enjoy yourself. I'm ready to start eating good again. I'm tired of no, salad. So <laughs> bad eating in front of you. I feel really bad. You just continue to do it, though. <laughs> I don't expect an easy fight at all. Train for the hardest fight of my life, and uh, if it turns out to be that, then it'll turn out to be that, but just know that I'm ready for it. Mess this hair up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a nuggie. You should come out with your hair all spiked. <laughs> no, I don't look like a douche. We've been doing a lot of metabolic circuit training, really trying to maximize Cody's heart rate and optimize the amount of calories he's burning within that short workout. Really just pushing his heart rate and doing a lot of core exercises, to keep him healthy and get him ready to show up. The edge that Cody brings to this fight is really his heart and his mentality. You know, like he's one of those guys that just never gives up. That's definitely Cody's biggest strength, his grind and his will to win. And he always finds a way to win and he's not gonna stop coming. It's gonna be a great fight. 
all these people talking trash, that's been motivating me a lot. You know, I just want to go out there and show them that anything's possible. Never give up on your dreams. A lot of people are counting me out. Don't ever count anybody out. I'm not just a stepping stone. I'm going to go and be the champion. Cat doesn't feel like training, obviously. <laughs> He's conked out. <laughs> hey, buddy. What's in room? Yeah, I just need this. That's good. You don't need to. See, Mom. I'm going to train with my uh, coach named Bob Perez. It's for my stand up. He's mostly like Muay Thai coach, just practicing on some striking, staying in a distance. To every fight I've had so far, I've learned something. Maybe even if it's just tiny, like maybe just maybe how I'm moving or throwing a punch or maybe how shooting for a takedown or sprawling or kicking. Something so little can make a big difference. Today we're just gonna move around lightly with some pads, just kind of drill some stuff that we've been working on and uh, just have fun, play around. We just wanna go over some fundamental things, man, and let him get a little sweat in before he leaves, you know, keep his head straight and his nerves calm, And but he's, he's ready to go. And it's business, all business now. That was nice. Good. Yeah. Yes, good. He's definitely ready. You know, Cody's a tough, tough kid. Tough kid, but uh, I believe in Sage. You know, we all do. And uh, I think he's gonna, I know he's gonna get the, the, the win for sure. You fight your game and you're gonna be, you're gonna be great. You're gonna win. You know, fundamentals. Hands high, chin down, don't brawl. Mm -hmm. Stay technical and work on everything that you've worked on this camp with That's me and, and, and your other coaches. So That's you've got this, brother. Hey, cool. I'm very proud of you, man. Thanks, man. All right, man. Thanks for coming in and training. Oh, thank you. I'll be watching, baby. All right, cool. All right.